How can we how can we live through another year of this man? The bottom line is, here it is before I go to the break. I had to wake up today and say, is Obama as bad as I think he is? The answer is definitively worse. And I had to say, okay, why do I say he's worse than I think he is all these years? Because you have to check yourself every time you say it. You have to say, are you really overreacting because you're a conservative and you want to appeal to your audience? Is he that bad or worse? Are you doing it because of race? We have to do it. We give this guy triple and quadruple benefits of the doubt. And every day he doesn't disappoint us. He's far worse than we imagined. Well, that's my opening. I hope you liked it. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Savage Nation, so the thin man who's hiding from his colossal catastrophic affairs in the Middle East suddenly pops back up after this tragic shooting in Oregon and attacks the Second Amendment. Moses, make it quick. Line 8, fire away. Make it quick. Go ahead. Mr. Savage, you're completely wrong. There are way too many guns in the United States. We've been dealing with this issue for way too long. Nobody wants to take any action. And okay, let, you let, me ask you, let me ask you something. Do you have any affinity with Israel in, in any way? Your name is Moses. I would assume you travel to Israel occasionally. Absolutely, uh, yes. Oh, you do go to Israel. And what do you do when you're in Israel? You're, you're a, a, a yeshiva student? No, I'm completely secular. You're secular. And, and who protects you in Israel when you're there from the Palestinian murderers and bombers? The Israeli army. Okay. And what do they use to protect you, Moses? A Torah? Well, I... I right, end the story. You lost the chess game. Now take a walk. They protect you with guns, you moron, you! Use common sense! Use common sense, it's missing in America. That's the problem. There's a lack of common sense in the United States of America. A fish rots from the head down. And boy, is the head of this fish rotten. I need some... Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Can you imagine the country I grew up in? There were no unknown people in the White House. There were no traitors in Congress. If they were, they were rooted out by uh, McCarthy and the others. They found them out and they, they ridiculed them and put them in prison. The spies were found. So uh, Elvis Presley was king. I mean, it was unbelievable in the world. Uh, Dwight the Eisenhower was president when I was a kid, a war hero, as opposed to this one. Can you imagine Dwight the Eisenhower, what he'd be doing right now in the world with Russia, with Syria? God. So the gunman who killed nine people served in the army for a month before, before being thrown out. That just came out. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit more you haven't heard of yet. The gunman who killed nine people at the Oregon College served in the army for a month in 08 before being discharged for failing to meet administrative standards. Military records showed. Okay, CNN citing law enforcement sources said the animal, the human turd, had left behind writings that showed animosity toward black people wow how, how is that possible his mother was black what what is this another self-hater here see this is the problem you have to analyze this from a psychiatric point of view and i i'm not going to go into this five pistols and a rifle hate-filled individual anti-religion it's not anti-religion it's anti-christian see right away the news says anti-religion he didn't say anything against muslims didn't say anything against Hindus or Buddhists or Jews. It was anti-Christian. He didn't have people stand up and say, I'm a Buddhist and shoot them. Now look at the teacher he shot in the head that he started with. He picked out Christian students for killing. He said, good, because you're a Christian, you're going to see God in just a second. He said Stacy Boylan, the father of one injured woman, and then he shot and killed him. That's sickening. First he shot a professor at point blank range. Isn't What's his name? Was that Mr. Shapiro? Nice guy from New York. Listen to this. I could put the story together in a second. This guy must have left New York years ago, the, the professor, for a quiet life in the boondocks of Oregon. He's teaching a little literature class there. No pressure on him. He likes fly fishing. And this happens. This is unbelievable. He leaves the, the mean streets of New York, gets shot in the head in the, in the boondocks of Oregon. Who are the police officers who killed this piece of turd? The killer. 
died after I, you know, I always think about the police have the nerve to go in and get into a shootout and you put them down, you animal, you, you put down police because Eric Holder put in your brains that the police are no good. Who, who else shot this guy? The anti-gunners would have gone in there. Anyway, look, that's the whole story. This is sickening. Nine killed, seven wounded. Timbertown, former Timbertown, 180 miles south of Portland. Little junior college there, nothing. Mercer lived in an apartment nearby, Winchester. Number of firearms. Re oh, here, a neighbor told the AP that Mercer, quote, seemed really unfriendly, would sit by himself in the dark in the balcony with a, this little light. W what kind of stupidity is that? I sit by myself in the dark at night after a show. What do you want me to do, go to a party? What, is that? what do you mean real unfriendly? What, are you going to talk to an idiot in the street? I happen to believe Trump is right about it. He says, show the average person no respect because they're not worth it. Trump, Trump is known to have said that when he was younger. I agree with him 100%. Why should you be friendly to morons that burn smoke all night and ride bicycles? That's all they do. Why don't you just respect everybody for what reason? He seemed unfriendly and would sit by himself in the dark in the balcony with his little light. And if someone could see me at night, they'd say, he sits by himself in the dark with his dog and watches television. Who am I hurting, though? Why, well, you don't sit it by yourself and watch a TV show at night with a little light on? Everyone does. Well, unless they're out uh, you know, partying or something. What else do you do at night? Go to a AA meetings? <clears throat> Oregon gunmen targeted Christians. All right, look. I'm trying to lighten it up a bit with a little uh, absurdity here. Mercer previously lived in the Los Angeles area of Torrance with his mother. Neighbors there recalled him as uncommunicative. Com uncommunicative. His father, Ian Mercer, that said that it's been a devastating day for him and his family, blah, blah, blah. What do you mean for him? When we have sympathy for the devil now? Oh! Oh, the stepsister had something to say. She said he was selfless and a good person. Next, we'll hear he was going to go to medical school. That he was on, uh, he was going to become a, a brain surgeon. But because of the racist society, because they mistreated uh, mixed race people in this cracker town of Oregon, resentment built. No, that that'll come tomorrow from uh, from uh, CNN or what's his name, Anderson Cooper. Is he out there yet with the with the bush jacket? There's no war, by the way. The war ended. The, the day this happened, the war ended. There's no war in the middle. Russia stopped bombing. Russia went home. The uh, Free Syrian Army congratulated the Russians. They had a vodka together. They all said thank you very much, and they went home because that was it. It was over. The minute the news media stopped covering the war, it was over. What a nation I'm living in. Flurry of mass killing. Mass shootings. Not counting Thursdays, since then 293 mass shootings have been reported this year according to the Mass Shooting Tracker website, a crowdsourced database kept by anti-gun activists that logs events in which four or more people are shot. I would like to start a website called the Med Tracker website. And every time there's an act of violence, I'd like to see if they're on medication. This violence should be fueling anti-medication control in the United States. Because that's not protected by any amendment. It's pushed by the evil doers in the drug industry. All right, whatever. Let's go to the callers. Lenny on WSBAPA in, WSBA in Pennsylvania. What's on your mind, Lenny? Uh, Dr. Savage, my question is to you and to all the wonderful liberals listening to your, in, in the audience today. Who is responsible for this existential wasteland that has come to, de that, that's come to define the social landscape in America? I mean... Well, I, I know the word existential is, is very popular right now. And I know what it means because I read Sartre when I was a teenager. But what do you mean by the word existential? I mean death nihilistic. I mean, you, you, you can take existential and equal it to nihilism slash death. And when you look at the fact that you have an entire generation of people that have been schooled in militant neo-Darwinism, that have been schooled in a nihilistic film system, I mean, a, a, a nihilistic media, um... With, with no right and wrong whatsoever. I mean, you have an anti-theistic um, public school system, and I'm not saying we need to teach Bible school. Well, all right, no, no, you're making a good point. In other words, when I was a kid, I'll go back to my childhood. In every school in America, there were the Ten Commandments. 
until the vermin said that it's a violation of the separation of church and state. Now, who would argue that the Ten Commandments are bad, other than sickos like this animal, this turd who did this, this shooting? In other words, if I was bored in a classroom and my mind would wander, they'd wander up to the uh, a part of the schoolroom and would say, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not do this, you shouldn't lie, you shouldn't... Uh, you know, covered your neighbor's uh, mule or whatever it was. But, you know, you can dovetail this directly into your, you, you, you're, you, in your monologue, and, and up until now, you were talking... Who would covet a neighbor's mule, by the way? I'm thinking about that. The ancient Israelites covet each other's mules? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the idiots who are running our country right now, they are... I mean, look at the prep school diplomats that are running our country right now. No, no, actually, I, you know, the Hebrew word is not mule. I can't say the word it is in, in Hebrew. I'm trying to, like, be comedic here, but it says it shall, you shall not covet your neighbors, and you, it's not mule. You know what it is, right? Yes. But it really wasn't about an animal, I think. I think that's what the Bible meant. What the, it wasn't about mules or donkeys. I, I, look, I'm trying to be absurd here, because what, what are we going to make? Heads or tails out of a sick nation? Obama is the head of the nation. He has no leadership whatsoever. He's a vacuum. He's a living vacuum. He has no standards. He has no values whatsoever other than self-aggrandizement and pushing the liberal agenda. So instead of coming up there and bringing the people together, he again pits people against each other with the gun story. He had a golden opportunity, Lenny, to talk about medication, the overuse of medication that we have to look into the over prescription of Prozac-like compounds, which are too often, unfortunately, associated with uh, acts of violence. I, I mean, okay. if I... All right, I think that's enough. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to send you a copy of Government Zero, <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, take a break. No, I'm not. it's too early for a break. I want a couple of more callers. The U.S. is an existential wasteland. No, I don't think that's correct. The U.S. is a moral wasteland. That's not an existential wasteland. Now, if you want to start saying who did this, oh, come on, a lot of forces. Hollywood would come to the top of the list. Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Matzenberg, Ratzenberg, Spielberg. Geniuses at what they do. Brilliant. And I'm a movie lover. But every movie is anti-family, anti-Christian, anti-church, anti-straight, anti-sanity. Every movie they produce. And where does it go to? It goes back to the concept of the anti-hero that was popular in the late 50s, early 60s, mainly the 60s. The, the James Dean character was an example of the anti-hero who f was first seen on the big screen. I didn't even want to think today, but now I have to think for you. Remember James Dean, rebel without a cause? He turns like he's a sullen uh, kind of guy. The anti-hero started with him in, in movies. And as a result of that, every movie's been about an anti-hero. And recently we've seen a few heroes, such as American Sniper, for example, or the one that Wahlberg did, which I loved, The Last uh, Survivor, Lone Survivor. We are occasionally seeing a movie with some heroes in it. But by and large, the, the negativity about people that's portrayed by Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Ratzenberg, Ratzberg, and the others, whose names I can't remember, uh, are, are, are probably the number one reason that you put in the video games. Obama could have said we have to eliminate violent video games because they're warping too many brains. Why didn't he do that? They're not protected by the First Amendment. You, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Well, you can't warp the brains of young children day and night with, with games where they see killing and they think it's not real when they're actually killing. Right? Why don't we talk about that? And so, look, we could do this all day long, and I guess many of you want to do that, truthfully. You know, and we will. If you want to call on this, it's 855-407-282. But it's interesting to me that here I am on a Friday of the biggest week of international news of a long time. B Russia bombs in Syria, sneaks in troops and planes and ships under morons' nose, and all of the uh, contractors in the Pentagon didn't see this happening. They're busy studying their manuals on, uh, on political performance for the KGB that runs the Defense Department. They sneak in a huge military presence. They start a bombing campaign. They tell America to get out of Syria, and we're not talking about it. No one's even calling about it. Anderson Cooper dropped the story. He had the bush jacket ready to go to Syria till the shooting. Then he hung it back up and changed outfits for, that, for this flight. It's a new pair of tight dungarees now for, for Oregon. 
Maybe a lumber jacket would, would be. Let's see, what should I wear? Maybe a check jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try the 